Good morning, everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of Coffee with Haku, the show where I scream into the void. Cheers, everybody, and today we're having another latte. And also, I want you to examine this mug. It's taken maybe 12 years ago of him, and now he's 14, and he deserves a treat. There we go. So, what do I want to discuss today? I want to discuss the character I'm most excited to see in Zelda Zone Zero. Now, <laughs> I've been watching like some, some polls and stuff for like the, the character people are most anticipating. Uh, my character doesn't come up there. I've never, I've not really seen it mentioned anywhere. The character I'm most excited about arriving to the game would be the next... Wait, is it Jane Doe? No, it's not Jane Doe, although I'm super excited about Jane Doe. The character I'm most excited about getting to the game is the next Kulida and Ben. Like, their interaction that, that they can have with each other, where the character's ultimate and moveset freaking changes, uh, like, depending on what character you have on the team. I, like, I think that is such a stroke of genius to have in the game, and, like, it, it's such a fun mechanic. And, like, when I discovered that they had this mechanic, I'm like, holy what? Sandless is next level on so many levels. And that one was like really one that like, holy she. Like I was impressed at the fact that like, the characters like had interactions. If you, ha if you have Grace and Anton on a team, when you switch out and whatnot, they will say things to each other. Like I thought that was next level. Then I found out that no, like Khalil's ultimate and basic attack string changes the if she has been on the team and i'm like holy shit that's so cool like let's be let's be real that is so freaking cool and i think a lot of people don't understand like necessarily how much of a potential this mechanic has if they utilize it in the right way we don't know yet but i, I I've, I've done this example in in the past but Imagine they release Grace's sister in a year and a half. If Grace now has a sister, I have no idea. But let, let's just hypothetically say that they release Grace's sister in a year and a half. By that point, Grace is gonna maybe have been power crept and eh, not, not, not super, super used. She's out of the meta. They release her sister and her sister is a broken unit that gets even more broken paired up with Grace. Boom! Grace suddenly has her place back at the table. Now, I freaking love Grace from uh, an artistic standpoint. So, like, I, I probably won't put Grace down either way. But, like, do, do you understand the potential that this mechanic has? And we've obviously not seen the last of it. We've seen the first of an interaction like this, but not the last. There are going to be more characters that works just like Khalid and Ben that's going to have different moves, different like power depending on who they're teamed up with. And I'm pretty sure that we are going to be seeing this interaction on a whole other level. We're going to be seeing it with three characters and maybe like even more extensive. Like even more moves, even more stuff gets altered. Imagine you have three characters and all three of those join in on an ultimate. Which honestly would make a little bit of sense because like the ultimate system doesn't super make sense to me that you like everybody shares the same decibels. So for the most part in a team you have one character that is there's always gonna be the one doing the ultimate. Then it then it clicked. Then it clicked. Wait a minute. I think the long-term plan is having like teams of characters that all join in on the same ultimate. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. For me, it just clicked, I'm like, oh, you, you know what? That actually makes sense, and, ha and having the ultimates work as they do now, uh, m like, it makes sense to then introduce this whole new other amazing mechanic where, yeah, basically your entire team, if it's the right people, if they're from the same faction, best friends, etc., they will join in on the same ultimate and just go to town. And now I could be very wrong about this one, but I, I have a slight feeling, I have a slight feeling based upon absolutely nothing that the first three of characters that we might see do, doing this are gonna be the three characters you saw in the lore trailer 
that like they were talking about like oh this these guys these three single-handedly pushed back the whole of like 36 kilometers or something I have a feeling that they are going to be the first triple joint ultimate we'll see and we'll definitely see it we'll definitely see it now I, the, the more I think about it the more it makes sense I definitely see, think we're gonna see teams like Kolida but all three people work in, in synergy with each other that would be freaking cool and it's it's like the weird things like that that makes me really really excited about this game because i just feel like they're going crazy like they are doing so much like crazy shit with this uh obviously we're still in like very much the infant stage of sana son zero but dude i like i literally cannot wait and see like what other synergies what other teams and like team possibilities they give us and i'm also super excited to see like at what the next defense character is gonna be like i want to see what the five star defense character will will do because defense characters are in a weird state because it's only ben right and like he's he's what do you call it a, a, a trader of many skins a monster of none i i, I know the swedish expression but like he he isn't quite a uh, stunner he isn't quite a support but he has he like he has good stun and he has decent buffs although not as decent as the as, as real support and not as good days as the stunners he defense seems to be like very much all around with the added protect the team sprinkle on top of it so yeah that's my thought for the day what do you feel like do you feel, feel like i'm do you feel like i'm wrong are you excited about this do you think i'm right let me know in the comments and thank you for tuning in to Coffee Time with Haku. Until next time. Follow the channel.